Paris Plage is the biggest example of improvisation that we have ever seen anywhere in the world because you have no idea what you're going to see next. 20 years ago, they had put a beach on the sand. It just blew us away. And they blocked the road. And all these people just were coming there in tremendous numbers. And it was all programmed. It was all uh, activations, dancing, uh, sitting in all these very comfortable chairs. I mean, they had the most comfortable seating that we've ever seen. They had these benches that had four sides to it and people in groups would sit there. They put these big giant planters with trees in them, green planters, that it was just so unbelievably exciting to see what had replaced the automobile. And then over time, what has happened, it has made Paris very different because the Seine is now the spine of Paris. It is no longer the left bank and the right bank. It has come together. The bridges, which are so pedestrian friendly, is, are the connections. It was a game changer globally. And we immediately took those ideas and spread them around the world. And New York's Renaissance, Streets Renaissance, was part of that. But I don't think we have really come to where we're really pushing the envelope. And, uh, but I think COVID has opened a window for us that we could not have gotten to without it. And we're beginning to see where these outdoor cafes, everyone coming out and needing to be outside, is now coming together where intersections are more about people standing and socializing and sidewalks are more places where you bring your kids because you've got cafes. So we're seeing life better than it has ever been in New York City, except going back to the days before there were cars.